Right, Cancerians, hi, I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome to your general reading with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader for 11 till 17 September. This is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates. I just want to let you know that there's some construction taking place outside, so there might be some unexpected loud noises either from the outside or from Bruno that decides to just bark at them. So if any of those things happen, I do apologize in advance. In this reading, we're going to take a look at your recent past, your current energy, your immediate future, clarify, and then also end up with an oracle message. When I say we, I'm referring to myself and my spiritual team called Smile. Alrighty. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cancer, 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 cancer. Are you on a roll or what? Okay, dokie. Okay. Alright, so your overall energy, Five of Cups. Keep on doing the good work that you've been doing. I see there's a lot of release that has taken place for a lot of you, a lot of forgiveness, a lot of letting go. Um, I, I see you really breaking away from that sort of almost like restrictive energy that you may have had into a more sort of open space of giving and receiving. Um, you can really overthink sometimes cancer and you know that overthinking can sometimes lead to almost like emotional debris in a way. Um, and I see you moving past that, I see you moving into a, into a much lighter space. So if there's any sort of challenges that you're having in your life at the moment, any sort of overwhelm that you have, any problems, things that seem like you don't want to move, you know, you can't move past them and stuff like that. A question to ask you, as Louise Hay used to say so beautifully, the founder of Hay House, she would say that you want to look at what is it that you still need to forgive? What is it that you might possibly be holding on to that is not serving your highest good? In the recent past, you've got the Ten of Cups, which is a beautiful family sort of energy, which is so important to you, Page of Swords, and the Three of Cups, okay? So, I can see that for a lot of you, you've got a lot of, you got a lot of clarity on your family dynamic, or sort of like to experience more of the sort of family dynamic that is really sort of like, um, that sits very comfortably in your heart, you know? Um, I can also see there's a lot of new ideas that came about and I love these new ideas that are coming about for you cancer because it's all about serving the collective consciousness. Um, I can see there's a real sort of motivation for many of you to connect with your sort of higher self and your soul family, um, your guides, your guardians, your angels. Maybe you started to um, um, really get into sort of like, you know, um, going to that next level when it comes to like spiritual development, personal development. Or maybe you're like me that is like teaching that quite a bit at the moment which feels so fulfilling as I'm teaching a bit of Reiki Masters at the moment which to me is so personally fulfilling which is really really great but whatever it is there I can see that you started in a very very positive role there in the recent past and ka um, in your current energy Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups and the Knight of Wands there's a lot of positivity that's coming towards you a lot of stability um, I feel that for some of you, uh, this is quite interesting, so you kind of got the idea of what it is that you'd like your life to be, your family life to be, your family dynamic to be. Um, I feel that many of you put down roots, or you started to put down roots, and um, you came from very emotionally viable um, sort of like avenues, very beautiful you know sort of directions that you were heading from and there's a lot of prosperity that's being promised to you at the moment stability in money stability in security um also there's an opening of love some of you may have had some feelings or some emotions for someone there for a while for a certain energy um it could be just for love itself the stability of it i feel that for a lot of you um it, it took quite a bit of courage to get to this point it could also be that you um, that something with a certain person is beginning to work out and you are strongly encouraged to actually open your heart and to give your emotions there. Do not hold out to say, well, I'm not going to open myself to love or connection because if, what if it doesn't work out and I'm the person who's being hurt? You are encouraged to not really go about it that way. Um, look, look at your beautiful energy going forward, the sun, the emperor and the two of swords going forward. That's, that's really, really amazing. Sun being the highest vibrational card in the tarot deck. Really, really great things for you to look forward to. Bruno, be quiet. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. Or go sleep. All right. Sorry about that. So, sun energy. There's, there's, there's amazing incredibleness coming towards you, Cancer. Uh, a lot of you may not see how that is going to happen. And I, I get that. But what you can do, remember, with your overall energy, work on the things that are holding you back. So maybe if you are struggling still with things like maybe 
courage and, and, and confidence and, and that sort of stuff, you know, maybe work at that. See, ask where does it come from and being willing to release it. Beautiful new beginnings, the emperor energy, Aries energy, maybe you're dealing with an Aries, maybe it's in your chart, doesn't have to be. Um, but there's a beautiful energy of new beginnings. You see that you holding the, um, the, 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 the chess piece, the king holding it there, horns over there, which is all about power and the beautiful light coming in through there for you. And I feel that a lot of you going forward is going to realize um, that you're a lot more together than you actually realize. You may not quite realize the impact that you have on, on other people's lives just yet. And I feel that going forward, you're getting to see that. And it's actually a very positive thing because instead of trying to, to achieve and arrive, you realize that you actually have, and then you utilize the actual benefits of that, which is, which is just amazing. Okay? Let's clarify for you, beautiful, beautiful Cancers. We're gonna clarify um, the overall energy first at Five of Cups, and just as I also started to say that I saw that the time on the recording was 555 as well, which is really quite amazing. Um, because five in numerology, it's about new beginnings. It's about the challenges of new beginnings, but new beginnings on the list. And look at the energy that you have again. Remember, you have the emperor and the energy that's coming your way, and also the emperor is in your overall energy as well. So definitely amazing things coming. This is a time for you to embrace your power. Emperor, eight of wands, and the empress. Now, for a lot of you, because you are this beautiful, naturally intuitive being of cancer, you can feel that the positive things are coming your way, but it's almost like you can't see it yet. And because you can't see it, what we sometimes as human beings have a tendency to do is to overcompensate. You want to do more than you feel that you have to, to try and make things happen. But the Empress is letting you know that the magic is already heading your way. All you need to do is wait it up. All right? Um, and it's, it's not so much um, that you might be doing something wrong, but how you can positively contribute towards this energy is definitely if you um, work at forgiving, releasing, whatever it is that you might be holding your back any sort of pet peeves and you know maybe little battles that you might have with other people you know can't stand that bitch that sort of thing um this person rubs me up the wrong way that sort of thing maybe that person is rubbing you up the wrong way because the universe is trying to use that person to give you the message that it's time for you to change your perspective okay um change of perspective can be very very beneficial for you my beautiful beautiful Beautiful, can see this. Okay, let's clarify the recent past there. Let's see what we've got for that. So, for the Ten of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. And Cups is this that beautiful interactive energy. It's about your passion and your drive and your strive, but also the connections that we have with other people. Um, you've got the Four of Pentacles, the Devil energy, so the beautiful Capricorn energy. And you also have the five of swords. So I do see that for a lot of you, you really wanted to, you know, like you became very serious about getting balance back in your life. And I can see that for a lot of you, it meant that you had to release a lot of things. You had to do a lot of introspection within yourself and see within yourself, what is it that's holding me back? What are the thought patterns, the beliefs and the things that I have that are holding me back? And I can see that many of you, you know, you saw those storms and teacups and you were like, you know what, I'm not going to play this game. So a lot of you, I can see that you stepped away from a lot of drama um, other people's drama most likely um, people that expected you to be part of their drama and you're like mm -mm, not gonna do that um, I can see that there's a lot of inner like a lot of inner conflict that you have a lot of that has been released a lot of letting go a lot of beautiful healing has taken place for you so whilst you and even if you look back you may see that you know you will see this is where you are, but you look at the little steps along the way, you'll see how far you've actually come, my beautiful Cancers, which is just incredible. Okay, so let's see what is that is doing for you in your current space. Let's clarify this current space. You got the five of pentacles, the judgment energy, and the moon energy, which is a beautiful Pisces energy. This I, I still feel there's still a bit of a sense here, Cancers, of um. um, um, um Maybe a little bit of lack, a little bit of limitation, a, a still a little bit of not feeling worthy, a still a little bit of fear, and those type of things that is happening over here. But it's time to let go of that. Use those beautiful emotions of yours to, to allow yourself to feel all the beauty 
that is available for you right now because all of the beauty is available to you right now which is really really incredible so use your emotions to your benefit and not to your disadvantage use your emotions to feel the positive things that you'd like to feel beautiful cancers because those positive things are very very available to you right now which is just super super awesome okay let's look at your um the energy heading forward the immediate future what is prospective to coming your way especially with this beautiful sun energy with the sun energy um i've got the queen of swords it's about trusting yourself it's about trusting your mind it's about trusting your your judgment it's about you know trusting that you know what to do and following your own heart following your own head following your passion following your guidance following your intuition that is what is leading you to positive things and it's not necessarily a space where everybody's going to jump on board and they're going to say like oh cancer that is so amazing a lot of people might be like what are you doing okay movement possible for you moving um, moving into your own space moving into a bigger space moving into a better space um two of ones there three of pentacles and the nine of swords so some of you when you hear about moving you'll be like oh my goodness no 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 um everything is going to evolve and it's going to be such a mission it's going to be so difficult it doesn't have to be all right it doesn't have to be this definite divine intervention that is taking place here for your beautiful cancers so you don't have to don't stress about the future don't worry about the future there's amazing changes that are coming they are big changes they are sudden changes they can be a little bit overwhelming but the help that you need will be available there for you when and as you need it okay Let's see what we've got in Oracle Energy for you, my beautiful, beautiful Cancers. And, you know, if that resonates with you, if that is helpful, then I'd really appreciate it. Please go ahead, like the video, comment, share, subscribe. Remember to hit that all notifications so you know that when your weekly reading is coming up. Look at the energy you've got. Four energy, first of all, which is about stability. And it says great and full. It lets you know that you are ready to... Do not only share all of the beauty that you have in your life and you may have worked so hard towards achieving you're not only ready to share it you are ready to do so in a dynamically powerful way and so it is okay so i hope that it helps that's what i got for you cancer if any of you are interested in things like a personal reading or oh, what's going on sorry <laughs> personal reading if any of you, you can just check down below in the description for the details um if you are keen to learn to read the tarot for yourself for the step-by-step -step tarot reading course there's a link for that in the description there's a link for my free oracle card reading course and most definitely also check out the very first link you get for that guided regression hypnosis session as well from my heart namaste love and light see you next time bye